Snatcher! So, Arcade Scorpio used to be Mayor. Um, you have now interrupted a filthy, stinking goblin thief who we're now going to follow. You know, the goblin thief's running around. Oh, it's injured. Oh, it got sh getting shot. Oh, everyone surrounded it. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We've just had a lot of dwarves just pounce on it. Oh, and it's the merchant dwarves. Oh, we wanted our people to go murder it. That's boring. Fine. Let's see what happened. So, oh my goodness. Goblin thief charges at the hunter. Attacks the hunter but jumps away. A flying copper box strikes the goblin in the upper body. Tearing the muscle. Tearing the right lung. Oh my goodness. Jeez. So basically, um, as far as I'm concerned, the moment the goblin thief lunged at Archaic Scorpio, the, the guards <laughs> from the caravan, that's it. They open fire. And that first bolt tears the muscle and tears the right lung. The goblin was doomed. Absolutely doomed. Loses its iron dagger. And a spear dwarf stabs it. <laughs> tearing the muscle. A sensory nerve has been severed. Tearing the muscle. Bruising. Stab, stab, stab. Artery has been opened. Jeez. So basically, the goblin was stuffed. Uh, I mean, is there even any point in... In, in talking any further. Sp I mean, it stabs him in the right foot, bruising the bone through the troll fur shoe. Artery in the foot, so it's a bleeding foot. The goblin falls over, well yes. And then gets stabbed, fracturing the bone in the left lower arm. Artery again, severed, torn tendons. Another tearingness. Lots of teariness going on. Um, gets, oh my goodness. Spidoff stabs the goblin thief in the upper body, tearing the muscle, shattering the, the, the left true ribs, tearing the right lung. A tendon in the left true ribs has been torn, having more trouble breathing, and it's lodged in the wound. Spidoff stabs him again, fracturing the bone in the upper arm. Jeez. Artery has been opened, a tendon has been torn. This goblin, how many arteries does this goblin have to have ruptured before it dies? The spear twists the embedded spear around in the goblin thief's upper body. Wow. Tearing the stomach, tearing the muscle, fracturing the bone in the legs, sensory nerves, tendons, ligaments. Another flying bolt, flying bolt strikes in the leg, fracturing the bone through the Ibex man leather trousers. Uh, they're manly trousers. Another stab. Some more fracturing in the knee. Artery has been opened again. More tendons and ligaments being destroyed. My god, could you imagine if this somehow he'd survived? The, hang on a second. Speared off stab, fracturing right. The goblin thief has become enraged. He's, he hasn't got any blood left to enrage. How, how do you get enraged when you have no blood? And then it's twisty twisty in the... Ow. And then even once it had fallen unconscious from the pain... Um, tearing the upper spine's nervous tissue. Tendon's been torn. Stabby stabby. Another more nervous tissue in the spine. Stabby stabby. Another artery has been opened. Another tendon has been. T Basically, you have to accept. Doomed. <laughs> Absolutely doomed. So basically, yeah, to be honest, I mean, you, you didn't have to do anything, did you, Archaic Scorpio? Oh, what do we want from you? What do we want from you, you stupid dwarves? Um, what do we, what do we, I don't know, what do we want from them? They kind of bring, yeah, we want iron. We want iron. A bit of, bit of steel isn't going to hurt either. Um, we don't need anything else. Yeah, to be honest, as long as you just bring... 
As long as you bring iron bars and the other bit and some steel bars, I mean, probably just lower the priority a little bit and just have just those two things: steel bars and iron bars. Can't think that there's. You could always some dogs. Yeah, could have trained some dogs. That'll do. Right, we need to trade with these dudes. We need a trader at the depot. Let's view them by value. We've got various gem bins, ammo bins, prepared food bins. Look at that. Rope reed fibre dress. It's quite valuable. Ah, yes. We've got to get rid of the tattered clothes. Lots of dresses that are quite valuable. <laughs> got a lot of, um... Random stuff. Marble mechanisms. You see, that's the problem. We, we've not. We need to create crafts. We need to get our metal people. We need to get some people to make some silver crafts. That's what we need. We need crafts dwarfs making crafts. Otherwise, we're going to end up. See, there you go. Look, we've got that tattered, tattered item of tattiness. But even tattered items are worth flogging. See, we've got various marble stuff cabinets and doors and tables and thrones see I'm just gonna go through and find all the tattered clothes and then they can rendered fat barrel <coughs> just a barrel full of rendered fat lovely Some silver bars, cheese, tasty, tasty cheese. See, that's the thing, we've got so much stuff now, it really is worth our time, as far as bars go anyway, it's really worth our time getting the old uh, crafting going. We need to melt down some stuff, you know, like those example that that goblin that just got butchered horrendously he was carrying a large iron dagger well we can melt that down and make something else out of it now you might think a dagger well that's not going to be um, particularly great but you know what it doesn't matter we're still going to get some iron out of it we can turn that iron into something else it's, it's worth doing lots and lots of marble blocks and copper bars which are all apparently the same value it's a bit strange but some random seahorses. <laughs> uh, some random female seahorses. Tasty. Looks to me like we're almost done. Awful lot of that coal. Lots of horse bones. Need to make sure that we're still making. Okay, right, that's that'll do. We need to make sure we're still making bone bolts. Another thief. Where? Where would the thief be? Right? No. Um, anyway, so the um, what I was originally looking for. What was I originally looking for? Yes, to make sure. I don't know where that thief is, skulking around. Um, make bone bolts. Yes. See, there's a craft dwarf shop. What we really could do with is craft dwarf over here. More craftiness.
because we need bone bolts, we need... See, the craft dwarf, I bet... What is it? Totem, ivory, horn, pearl, extract metal, strands? Oh, I think that's um, for adamantium, isn't it? Let's let's remove that job. Maximum priority on the beds. Come on, man. Come on. So where's the goodness? This um this thief's doomed. It's running. It's legging it. It's legging it. Oh my god! It's got cornered. It's got cornered. It's been surrounded. It's been stabbed to death. Wow, Swords Dwarf, bang, bang, knocks him down. Wow, he managed to counter-strike a couple of times. Got back up onto its feet. Wow, the horse attacks the Cabal Thief, jumps away, bites, the horse bites the thief. Oh my god, it bit its right hand off. And then kicks it in the left hand, bruising the fa <laughs> That horse bit the Cabal's hand off. <laughs> Awesome! Mrs. Dwarf kicks it in the left upper leg with a with a left front hoof, bruising the muscle through. Kicks it again in the upper body, shattering the ribs. Oh, this is why you don't mess with horses, boys and girls. Um, so basically, by the time the spear dwarf even gets his first go, um, the the kobold's already had one of its hands bitten off, and it's and it's and it's had its ribs shattered. God. And then it gets stabbed by a spear dwarf. The iron spear lodges in the wound. The horse gives it a good kicking again, bruising the muscle. Um, spear gets twisted. Horse kicks a few more times, shattering the bone. Ooh, shatters the leg. Spear dwarf stabby stabby. Oh my god. Right upper arm with a spear and the severed part flies. The spear dwarf stabbed the kobold so hard in the arm, the arm was severed. And then the horse kicks the thief again, shattering the bone. And then gets stabbed in the foot and then severs the foot. I I feel sorry for the th poor thing sometimes. Is it is it wrong to feel sorry for these horribly mangled horribly horribly mangled kobolds is it wrong to feel sorry for the poor things possibly I suppose um <laughs> mental absolutely mental awesome don't get me wrong pretty damn awesome but mental we need more ammo I bet we don't have much ammo someone just ran out of ammo so, oh my god, we've got a shed load of the stuff. How can you not have ammo? I'm guessing it's just a... We really don't need more ammo, then. I mean, look at this. Look at it! It's mental! <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to unforbid as many of these as I can. We need to melt some of these buggers down. Melt them. Oh, melt that. Training axes. Meh, 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 meh. Iron picks. Well, we don't actually need iron picks. It would be worth melting them down, to be honest. Steel crossbow. Got lots of crossbows, a silver crossbow, melt it down. Oh, we need to melt these things down. Why can't we melt them down? I'm guessing it's because they're somebody else's. Bronze spears, copper spears, an iron spear. Let's leave that, because spears are good. Silver short swords, melt them. We need the silver. I don't want to faff about. Bronze war hammers, steel war hammers, copper war hammers, iron war hammers. Battle axes, more battle axes. See, we've actually accumulated some decent stuff. Now, some of it, like I say, is, it's not going to be actually ours, but we cannot. Cause we've got a lot of training stuff as well. Various picks. 
Hmm. Load coming in. It's a lot of stuff. Ah, you see, there you go. All these red things are are others. The property of other. Steel crossbow. Melt it down. Steel warhammer. I don't know, actually, then again. <laughs> yes, yes, I know, I know. I'm, I'm doing my thing again. Procrastination. Good old procrastination. I want the steel for something else. I've decided. Bronze is better than copper, so let's melt some of these things down. Armor. We've got a lot of random armor. Which we can unforbid. Now a lot of it's going to, of course, be... Um, on other people, you know. See, all this is forbidden because it's, you know, property of others. At least we've got plenty of arrows, and that's the, well, plenty of bolts, should I say. And that was the important thing to find out. Another snatcher. I don't think the snatcher is going to survive, though. I can I can pretty much just accept that the snatcher is going to die horribly. I am not especially concerned. <laughs> I really am not especially concerned. Let's trade with these traders. Oh, no, he's busy drinking. Still got 262 prepared meals. Slightly concerned that the prepared meals are no longer showing up. <clears throat> Any health issues? Come on. Come on, Gavin Chaos. Get your act together. Get to the tradey bit. The tradey people. God, you are seriously a drinker. We are still guzzling. Here we go. Come on, Gavin Chaos. Get in there. Ooh, winter. I'm not particularly scared of winter. I'm kind of meh. It's winter. Get over it. Iron, bronze, iron, brass, lead, gold. Gold. I, I, I would like some gold bars, actually. Steel. Actually, you can cut gold something or other. Ah, oh, these are gems of some sort. So we don't have a huge amount. See, brass. Brass is not great. Steel. Let's grab the steel as well. Rose gold. Oh my goodness. Raw crystal clay, glass clay, high wood. Here we go. And I know we've still got quite a lot of wood for the last time, but it's so cheap. It's so cheap that there's no reason why not.
You have all this tatty clothing. Yeah, you better be pleased with the trading boy. We've given you our most valuable tattered clothing. <laughs> I mean, seriously, this stuff's hideous. Damn, and we've got... Oh, no, I'm, I'm selecting it now. So we've got, basically, 1,700 lots, 1,700 dwarf credits worth of uh, tattered clothing and some various marble furniture that's kind of an alright quality. We've got alpacas, reindeer, bulls, mules, bulls, horses. Not particularly... You could butcher them, but to be honest, we might as well just grab... Oh, I've got various blood again. Still don't get it. Wine, camel barrels, rum, ale. We can brew our own booze. That's not an issue. Really isn't. Various buckets. Iron battle axe. Yeah, you're alright. Don't really need anything... Weapon related. No, don't need any training stuff. No, no, no. And they've—they're even trying to sell us tatty clothing. Disgusting. Fended. Copper low boots. It's iron high boots. They look nice. Iron high boot menaces with spikes of well crafted zircon. Fancy. Ah, da, da, da. So we've got plaster. Ooh! Don't we need plaster for like casts and stuff? Medical reasons. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna trade that. I'm gonna have that. I think that might be a good idea. You know, while it's there. Because if we need to make some sort of plaster cast, because some dwarves gotten horribly mangled by a, I don't know, a snatcher or something, then I think that would be a very useful thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good plan. Sand, wool, various bags of, of bagginess. Of course, I keep forgetting they've got so much. I've got leather bins. Cloth bins, leather bins, cloth leather. We don't really need cloth leather. I say that every time and then I end up buying a load. <laughs> it's true. It is true. I do say that a lot. We've got a lawful lot of bolts. Again, we do not need them. We've got various jewellery. Look at that, an amethyst earring. That is valuable. Damn. We've got anvils of, of various kinds. It's not going to hurt to grab another iron anvil. Um, elk meat. Here we go. Now it's time for the horrible, horrible bounty. Of, um, of endless horror food. <laughs> horror food. Prepared yak brain! Yay! <laughs> we like our prepared yak brain. Well, I do, anyway. But prepared yak brain is alright. Okay, we're not going to get too much in the way of fish. Plump helmets we certainly don't need. Silk, yarn, various leather goods. Cheese. Cheese. Cow cheese, yak cheese, donkey cheese. Oh my goodness. Kangaroo cheese. The fuck milks a kangaroo? Um. What the hell? Actually, then again, I've got quite a few Australian fans. Um, I, I don't say. Can you yeah, kangaroo milk something that you can get? I mean, obviously they produce milk. They kangaroos are capable of lactating, but um, but is that something that you would? Because how would you... Because it's in the pouch, isn't it? It's like... It doesn't really need to be thought about, to be honest. I bet it's dead rich, depending on... Because they... Kangaroos tend to be born very, very, very early on. Um, so I think the milk has to be ridiculously rich, doesn't it? Something like that. 
There we go. We have now traded lots of stuff. You're constructing beds. We're, um, we need to build doors. getting there. We are getting there as far as the whole thing goes. More rooms for dwarves. Sounds like a campaign. Bedrooms for dwarves. Every month seven dwarves have to sleep without a real bed. You can stop this tragedy by just giving two pounds a month or whatever you can spare. Don't let these dwarves get osteoporosis <laughs> or whatever dwarves get. Um, a goblin master thief? Oh my goodness. I don't like the, um, the sound of that. A goblin master thief? Oh dear. Okay, he's legging it. He's getting shot at. None of them are hitting. Oh! Oh, he's been wounded! He's been wounded. Ah, uh, no! We don't want to meet with the outpost liaison. I want to watch this 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 goblin possibly get killed. 